Hi guys, in this video we will be learning about global systems and understanding the issues associated with interdependence, finishing off with an exam style question. Firstly, we're going to look at the effects of globalisation on the international labour market. And labour simply means people moving for work. So this is the workforce. And globalisation has enabled workers to move across the world more freely. And this is due to improvements in transportation and also connections such as things like the internet and mobile phone serv services and so on. So essentially, as the world has become more interconnected, people have been able to move across the world more easily, not just for travel and so on, but people have also been moving around the world for work purposes. And now we're going to look at the positive and negative effects of this labour movement of people around the world looking for work. So the positive effects include reduced unemployment, where there is a lack of work, um, where we find areas of unemployment, people can move there or move elsewhere and find opportunities to seek work due to globalisation. It also reduces geographical inequality between workers. For example, Eastern Europeans have often moved to the UK to work there. So for example, there are a lot of um, builders and um, workmen in Eastern European countries and there isn't a big building market there so therefore if there's a booming building market in the UK these Eastern European workers have moved across the UK to fill the jobs there so it's almost like helping each other out. It's also helped to address important skill and labour shortages for example the UK has had a shortage of nurses so nurses have moved in from the Far East and filled these shortages and also some workers return to their country of origin with new skills and new ideas and this is able to help the economy in their home countries. However there are negative effects and these include that countries find it difficult to retain their best talent as the most skilled people are often attracted away by higher wages in more developed countries and this leaves behind the poorest people um, who are less skilled in these developing countries and this also leads to a loss of skilled workers and um, which causes a training gap so if all the trained people move away there's no one left to train the people who are untrained. Also the outsourcing of production from high wage to low wage economies has caused unemployment in developed countries so the negative impacts of globalisation and the labour movement. Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.